<laughs> What's popping, everybody? So, I wanted to talk for a few minutes about Tim Zhu. So, Tim Zhu is set to fight Brian Mendoza, the guy who beat the fucking Mexican beanstalk, the, the, the fucking Mexican Gumby, is what I like to call him, or whatever the fuck he is. Spanish Gumby. He beat the hell out of... Well, he didn't beat the hell out of him. He was down on that fight. He came back and pulled off a big upset. Upset and knocked out the, the, the Spanish tree trunk. So Tim Zhu set to fight him on October 15th, which is great. That's, that's fantastic. It, it's tremendous, Joe Rogan. But it's tremendous, Joe Rogan. I want to say this, and I want to say this very clearly. We need to be tipping our hat to Tim Zhu right now. And here's why. This is the guy's third fight this year. All right? He's, he's just, which more fighters need to be doing. They need to be fighting at least twice, at least twice a year. Okay? It's his third fight this year. Probably be his last fight of the year, but it's his third fight this year. Now, Tim Zhu wanted to fight Jamal Charlo for undisputed at 154 pounds. Unfortunately, he couldn't get that, right? Um, he, Charlo went after the payday and the big fight with Canelo, which is happening at the end of next month, right? With that said, with that said, Tim Zhu is moving in a way that I would consider old school. He's fighting three times a year. And here's the other beautiful thing about, not only is this a great fight, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but Tim Zhu, you know... He, he he could have sat around and cried about, oh, I didn't get the big fight and blah, 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 with Charlo, just like Demetrius Andre did, just like Big Charlo did, just so like so many of these other guys do. Sat around and cried about, oh, I'm not getting the big fight and the big payday, so I'm just going to sit on my ass and not do anything until he gets, until, until they're ready to, you know, until they're ready to give me the big fight. Did he do that? No. Tim's who said, okay. I can't get the big fight right now. Charlo and Canelo are fighting each other, so be it. So what am I going to do? Am I going to sit on my ass and cry and complain like Demetrius Andre or Big Charlo or one of these other guys? No, I'm going to keep fighting, and I'm going to keep fighting top-notch contenders. And him and Brian, you know, he could have sat there and cried and whined and pissed and moaned about it and pissed up a storm about it. He didn't do that. He said, no, no, no. I can't get the big fight, so be it. I'm not going to be a, a, a clown and sit around and take 18 months off like some of these other jerk-offs do and, and and sit around and cry about it. No, I'm going to stay busy. I'm going to be stay act. I'm going to stay active. And what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to fight another guy that's in the top five. Brian Mendoza, great fight. Brian Mendoza just beat... Jason Rosario, who was former unified champion at 154 uh, a couple years prior. Banana Rosario, the Dominican kid. Now, I was never that high on Jason Rosario. I thought he kind of got a shot in the dark there against uh, J-Rock, or whoever. I think it was J-Rock, right? Knocked him out. He, yeah, because... J Rock beat Hurd and then he beat J Rock. Yeah. So he got he got lucky and he got to fight the unified champion. He upset him, got two belts, which he later lost those belts to Charlo on the on the pay-per-view when his brother fought that of Inchenko, right? So I was never super high on um Jason Rosario, but nevertheless, he was he did beat a former unified champion. Then after that. Uh, Brian Mendoza beat Sebastian Fondora, who's the six foot seven size bully, big old, like I say, Hispanic Gumby. All right, that was beating up everybody. He beat Lube and he beat uh, Jorge Acosta. He beat a few guys. All right, and Mendoza was down in that fight. He came back, clipped him with the left hook, and knocked him the fuck out. So both of these guys are trajecting upwards. Tim Zhu and Brian Mendoza, and that and they're both in the top five in the division. And that makes for a great fight. And I appreciate and respect the fact that both of them are for, willing to fight each other and that we're going to get the fight. Because like I said, these guys, could both, of, both of them for that matter, not only Tim Zhu, but Mendoza as well, they could have been sitting there crying about, ah, we're not getting a big fight, let's take 18 months off and 
play with our pud and, and not do anything. No. They said, okay, we can't get the big fight right now. We'll fight each other. So put some respect on Tim Zhu's name and as well as Brian Mendoza's name. They already fought a couple times this year, both of them. They're staying active. They're staying busy. They're not sitting on their ass waiting for a big payday and a meal ticket, bro. They said, okay, we can't get the big fight. Let's fight one another and make a great fight. So big, big respect to Tim Zhu and Brian Mendoza for moving like an old school fighter, like a throwback fighter. I respect the hell out of that, man. I can't commend both of them anymore than that. That's the biggest compliment I can give you. If you're a throwback fighter and you do shit how it was, do, you know, and you move in the way that the old school guys used to move, it's the biggest compliment I can give. Oh, Jesus, Johnny's drooling. <laughs> but that's the biggest compliment I could give you, you know? So hats off to both Brian Mendoza and Tim Zoom, and it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a very, very high-level violent fight. So I'm very much looking forward to it. And both of these guys deserve all the respect and the credit in the world, period. So with that being said, uh, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. God bless you all. And I'll be talking to you soon. I'll probably have an Uzik, uh, one more Uzik video uploaded later tonight. So God bless everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon. Take care.